we're GVPL's arts, culture, and heritage librarians. I'm Devin, and that's Caitlin. And we're here with Pacific Opera Victoria's Community Engagement Quartet to bring you a mini interview series on understanding opera with our insiders. Now, would our insiders like to introduce themselves? Sure. Hi. My name, oh, go ahead, Charlotte. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlotte, and I'm a soprano from Toronto. I'm Caden. I'm a tenor from Edmonton, Alberta, and I live in Montreal now. I'm Simran, and I'm a mezzo-soprano from Surrey, BC, but I live in Vancouver. And my name is Micah Schroeder. I am a baritone. I'm from Port Moody, British Columbia, and now I live in Berlin, Germany. Awesome. So our first question for you all is, it's my first opera. What kinds of things should I do to prepare before I arrive? And what should I do when I actually get to the uh, venue and during intermission? I'm happy to start this one, if that's okay with you guys. Um, I think one of the most important things you can do is probably to read a synopsis about the opera you are going to watch. A lot of operas are long. Some of them are short, like one or two hours, but many operas are two plus hours. Um, and since you're gonna be watching them in the language that's probably not your native language, a lot of operas are in Italian, French, German, even Russian or Czech. Um, because of that, it's often useful to kind of have a general idea of the plot. Um, you can do this on Wikipedia or on the internet. I would also recommend though, sometimes when you get to the opera, they'll give you a little program and there'll be a, a short little synopsis on there as well, in there as well. Um, I sometimes, if I haven't seen an opera before, I'll read, you know, synopsis of act one, watch act one, read synopsis of act two, watch act two. That way not all of the drama is ruined or spoiled before. Does anyone else want to talk about like maybe what you do during intermission or anything else you do to prepare to watch a show? Yeah, sure. Um, something I always look forward to is a lot of operas actually have a pre-opera talk where they can give you a lot of information um, about the show, themes to pay attention to, little fun facts. Um, and I think sometimes you can ask questions. And so I always love to go to those if I have time. Yeah. And something that I've noticed at more and more operas is that you can pre-order wine for the beginning, middle, end kind of any point during the opera. So pro tip, pre-order your wine, at least for intermission, so that you walk out of your seat to the bar and grab it. And they give it in these little sippy cups too. And so you can bring it sometimes right into the theater and you can just slurp on wine for the, for the whole show. Totally. I would just add also, make sure that you eat something before you get there because operas can be long. And at least for me, uh, my stomach is always grumbling by the end. So you need to prepare, carb load, do whatever you want to do, salad maybe, I don't know, prepare, <laughs> prepare your stomach. Perfect, those are some great tips to get us started, thank you. 